The Perfect Technician Academy, it's more than just uh, running a school. It's also the opportunity to help veterans find their place after their service. Our real passion behind the school the last few years is to train vets. Uh, people that are coming out of the military that you know, maybe haven't settled on a career choice. Many of the successful people in our industry are ex-military. Those people fit what we do. They're disciplined, they're on time, they're good people, they're clean cut. You know, they understand the, the importance of getting the mission done. Right now, you know, veterans, most of them aren't even aware that there's these great opportunities in the trades. College isn't right for everybody. And there's a lot of people entering college that really shouldn't and would be very successful given the opportunity to pursue something in the trades. The average age of technicians right now is above 45 years of age, so there's gonna be a need for an influx of the younger generation coming into the field. With this group of guys here, they really take the time to get to know you. A lot of these places, they pack their classes in there to where it's like a college setting and you're not really getting the hands-on help that you may need. But with these guys here, they'll take care of you. They, they make sure that you can learn everything you need to learn in the six weeks. And they make sure that you're understanding it and it's clicking for you. Day one, when we went into PTA Academy, I knew absolutely nothing. But by the time I left in six weeks, I felt like I was able to stand on my own and thrive in the field. The class that I've got the pleasure of being with, the majority of them are veterans. So it's got like a nice home feeling to it. They understand where you're coming from and they're here to accommodate you the best way they can and like help you gain a skill and exceed. I'm one of the guys that like to know why something does what it does, not the fact that you turn a switch on and the light comes on. I want to know why it comes on. This class, this program, it gives you the, the whys and not just the fact that you push a button and it blows cold air. I think HVAC is a good fit for service members because of the attention to detail that it requires. You're also, in a sense, getting an opportunity to help people, and I feel like that would also resonate very strongly within a lot of service members. They can help people, but also make sure that they're making a living for themselves and their families. Veterans are going to bring a tremendous skill set to the trade. No matter what they did in the military, they had to demonstrate an incredible learning agility, so they'll do well in our accelerated delivery training program. When you're in the service, you learn the structure, you learn how to work as a team, and you also learn independence. So I think those qualities are necessary in this field, so the transition is not too difficult. As far as people coming out of the military, you have the discipline, you have the money for the education. It's a no-brainer. Why not get paid to go to school to learn a trade? Well, I would recommend it to any veteran. It's an apprenticeship program. The GI Bill will help pay for that. This is like the perfect stepping stone to transition into the civilian life. After they come to the school, then we help place them with companies. That's our differentiator is we know how to get in front of the veterans. And when they come to us and say they, they want to go to work in South Carolina, we're able to leverage a nationwide network of employers um, that can help make that happen for them. We do placement first in trying to find you an opportunity, a place where you can get some experience. When they come to the school, they can already have an employer that's interested in hiring them before they even start the program. Right now we're doing it on a small scale, and I'm excited to be a part of the school and take it to a much larger scale. That's our goal, that's our vision. I can see us with 3,000 students and really making this work, not just for the state of Texas, but for the United States, and that's what I believe we're gonna do.